Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Marvel. Solar Breathing Technique, X-Men is Superman. Chapter 51. Maria Hill's ability is unquestionable. With her joining, Sauron no longer has to worry about many things. As long as he gives orders, Hill will handle them properly. As for whether a large amount of information about Sauron and the Super 7 will fall into the hands of S.H.I.E.L.D. during this process, it doesn't matter at all. He is upright and has no secrets at all. Dr. Otto's laboratory on the banks of the Manhattan River. With the full support of Osborne Company, Dr. Otto's Artificial Sun project has finally entered the final stage. Artificial Sun, controllable thermonuclear fusion, the clean energy of the future. This is not the display in Stark Industrial Park. Before Tony miniaturized the reactor, cold fusion had never been used commercially or on a large scale. Before Osborne Company changed its business, it was with Stark Industries, a well-known military industrial enterprise in America and even the world. The two companies have been competing with each other, but Osborne does not have Tony, a genius inventor who can develop various advanced weapons. Osborne Corporation, which has always been lagging behind, this time has top-notch technology that can surpass Stark Corporation. Norman, a proud guy, naturally invited Tony to participate in the final experiment of Artificial Sun. This was a semi-public presentation project, with many important people invited. Even Hydra Councilman Stern was among those invited. Although, Sauron no longer attaches much importance to the Artificial Sun after he has a blue giant star with him. But this technology can provide constant wealth support for the Super 7. As the master behind the scenes, he naturally participated. Being familiar with the plot, he had already warned Dr. Otto in advance that when the artificial sun reaches its peak energy, the surge in the magnetic field is likely to cause the experiment to fail. In this regard, Dr. Otto has repeatedly verified and conducted repeated simulations through Osborne's supercomputer, and determined that the probability of this happening is very high. So he also added new devices to deal with this possible occurrence. This place is at a higher level than the place in the original work, and all kinds of infrastructure and preventive measures are more complete. Next to Sauron was Hill Agent. Gwen also participated in this experiment as a temporary assistant. As a good friend of Harry, Peter entered here as a reporter. He kept taking pictures. There were too many celebrities here today. Are you the mysterious man behind Osborne? Next to Tony was his new personal assistant, Pepper. Looking at Sauron carefully, he said. You have a good vision. Osborne's military products cannot compete with Stark Industries. You were right to let him transform. I heard that Osborne Company has achieved amazing results in cross-species gene integration. Are you interested in collaborating? We at Stark Industries are also very good at biology. Although Tony is a playboy and cynical. But he had just come of age when his parents were assassinated by the Winter Soldier. Although he has the support of Obadiah, he can firmly occupy the position of president of Stark Company, and he is also extremely capable of doing business. Osborne's transformation cannot be ignored by Tony. The intelligence network of Stark Industries is not a vegetarian. Through the commercial espionage within Osborne Company, he learned that Norman had actually strengthened his body and joined a superhero organization called the Super 7. The leader of this organization is an extremely young man with an oriental face. It seems good to get the future Iron Man to join his camp. Sauron is not interested in Tony's proposal, but he is still interested in Iron Man. The only person in the universe cursed by knowledge. For cooperation, you can talk to Norman directly. I'm not interested in these business matters, but I'm very interested in whether you would like to become a superhero. Sauron said to Tony. Tony was stunned, he frowned slightly and said. Superhero. Like Norman. Human body strengthening. Tony couldn't help but feel excited. It's not that he also wants to be a superhero, but after strengthening his body, he can deal with countless beauties around him more easily. Sauron sensed Tony's thoughts and was speechless. But Iron Man wasn't born yet, and Tony also started to play with genetic strengthening. A telepathy, helping Tony put the thought away. Iron Man can't have any problems. His birth is too important in the Marvel Universe. Dr. Otto came out, and neither Soren nor Tony spoke anymore. Dr. Otto began to introduce his best assistant. Artificial Intelligence Mechanical Tentacles. 
Precision Manufacturing by Osborne Company. Dr. Otto solemnly explained his artificial intelligence mechanical assistant. Tony, a super genius in artificial intelligence, suddenly said. Dr. Otto, what methods have you adopted to suppress the artificial intelligence of these tentacles? His question hit the nail on the head. Dr. Otto had fixed the mechanical tentacles on his body. He turned around and pointed at the mechanical spine on his back. I have installed a total of 10 nerve suppressors on this. As long as one of them can work properly, I can ensure that I have control over these assistants. I guess I won't be so unlucky as to have both nerve suppressors destroyed at the same time, right? Dr. Otto smiled at Tony. This is also Soren's arrangement. Dr. Otto is a genius in nuclear physics, and becoming Dr. Octopus is a huge waste. Tony nodded, then made another comment. If your experiment is successful, how will you deal with the strong magnetic field brought about by the artificial solar peak explosion? Dr. Otto was not surprised by Tony's genius. He pointed to some nearby searchlight-like equipment. These are force field stabilizers made by Osborne. They can tighten all force fields within a certain range. Tony nodded and said, Dr. Otto, I wish you success. Tony has only seen two problems so far, and Dr. Otto has given perfect solutions to both. He also felt that this experiment was likely to be successful. On Dr. Otto's back, four mechanical tentacles controlled the equipment under his will. A small golden sphere was placed into the center of the magnetic field by mechanical tentacles. Tritium is the core raw material of this experiment, but its content in nature is extremely weak. Thanks to Norman Osborne and Osborne Company for sponsoring. Dr. Otto introduced. Norman smiled and said, Otto, I'm happy to pay for it. The tritium ball rotated rapidly in the magnetic field, and Otto's wife handed him the sunglasses. The two looked at each other affectionately, Dr. Otto put on his sunglasses and started the procedure. Channels of high-energy light irradiated the tritium, causing its temperature to rise sharply, quickly reaching the critical point of the nuclear fusion reaction. And its size has also expanded to hundreds of times file size. Suddenly, a bright light flashed and the temperature in the laboratory began to rise. Everyone only felt that in the deep and hot environment, but in the core magnetic field of the laboratory, a sun as big as a millstone was born. Doctor, our nuclear fusion reaction was successful. Everyone couldn't help but started to applaud. Many of the top capital tycoons who were invited gathered around Norman. Norman, you have achieved something unprecedented. At this moment, Norman Osborne is the biggest and most delicious cake in their eyes. Norman responded with a smile. In his eyes, these capital bosses had become leaks in his field. 1,000 megawatts of energy has been generated. New York's power grid is undertaken by the power company owned by Osborne Company. At this time, all the huge energy generated here is input into the New York power grid. Four mechanical tentacles, under the control of Dr. Otto, constantly control the surge of energy storms. Avoid the terrifying energy and break through the constrained magnetic field. This technology is actually based on the same principle as the technology on Soren's portable fixed star weapon. It's just that the alien technology in the Men in Black universe is countless times more advanced. Not only is the energy field bound to a blue giant star, it also uses more advanced space technology. Sauron looked at the artificial sun in front of him, feeling a sense of longing in his body. He had a feeling that integrates solar flare and sunspot ability would allow him to perform solar transformation. Once transformed, he can digest this artificial sun. As his strength increased, his sun transformed and could even eat the blue giant star. Gudong. The sound of swallowing attracted Hill's attention. The energy of the sun is in the palm of my hand. Dr. Otto looked at the artificial sun in front of him, his heart filled with excitement. But soon, the assistant sounded a warning. Doctor, magnetic surge detected. Dr. Otto couldn't help but look back and looked at Sauron. He didn't expect that the surge in magnetism that Sauron proposed would actually happen. Activate the force field stabilizer. Yes, part of the energy released from the artificial sun went into the surrounding areas for stability. The huge energy is converted into a powerful magnetic field which reversely cancels out the super-magnetic force released by the artificial sun. The surrounding metals affected by the magnetism return to normal. 
Doctor, the external magnetism has returned to normal. The four mechanical tentacles are still in a super strong magnetic field, but they are not affected by high temperatures and magnetic fields. The mechanical tentacles continuously controlled the energy storm in the artificial sun, and finally made the reaction of the artificial sun completely stable. Dr. Otto breathed a sigh of relief, turned around, and proudly announced. I declare that the artificial sun experiment is a success. Sauron smiled in his heart, my feast has begun. The artificial sun constantly outputs huge amounts of energy. This energy began to supply the huge energy needs of the entire New York. The invited guests were all invited by Norman to a cocktail reception in a nearby hotel. Many cooperations will be discussed at this cocktail party. There were only a few people left in the laboratory. Soren, Hill, Dr. Otto, Gwen. Sauron was sipping a glass of wine in his hand, and he and Otto stood side by side in front of the artificial sun. What a wonderful sun, Dr. Otto, still intoxicated. Technology that has not been realized in so many countries has been realized in his hands. Yeah, it must taste delicious, Sauron said. Dr. Otto turned to look at Sauron and said with a smile. Are you kidding me? Sauron turned to face Otto and said. I'm not kidding. As he spoke, he took off his suit jacket. Hill had doubts in his eyes, but he quickly took it. Soren took off his clothes and only wore big underpants, and then Gwen blushed and Dr. Otto suddenly transformed under the look of confusion on his face. That is the super ability of sun fire and sunspot. Solar flares and sun sunspot integrates solar transformation. Otto's eyes widened instantly. At this moment, Sauron and the artificial sun in front of him cannot be said to be very similar. They are exactly the same. It's just that one is a sphere and the other is humanoid. How can a man become the sun? Dr. Otto was really dumbfounded. This energy form is indeed the sun. Everything I pursue in my life is something that others can have naturally. Dr. Otto's eyes were full of envy. Hill agent's eyes widened. Fake. How is this going? Superman, why did he become like this all of a sudden? Etc. He killed Sun Huo in Japan. Could this ability be taken from Sun Huo? Hill agent's agent brain rotated rapidly and keenly discovered a certain truth. Gwen's eyes widened as well. Master is so awesome. Sauron trains Gwen's fighting ability every day, and Gwen chases him and calls him master. In fact, Gwen is one year older than Sauron. Sauron also liked being called master by Gwen, and the two started this game of master and apprentice. The girlfriend is not the only one, but the good female apprentice is the only one. Sauron, transformed from the sun, walked directly into the super strong magnetic field. Reach out directly and touch the artificial sun. Don't want. Dr. Otto quickly stopped and shouted. You will be burned to ashes by the power of the sun. However, Sauron didn't listen at all. His hand directly touched the artificial sun. Dr. Otto was completely dumbfounded. Sauron, transformed from the sun, was not harmed by the artificial sun at all. Instead, Sauron actually held the artificial sun in his arms. The position around the artificial sun has changed dramatically, but it is extremely stable. Even in Otto's eyes, the artificial sun is constantly getting smaller at the speed visible to the naked eye. Its smaller size represents the rapid loss of energy in it. This is impossible. This is an artificial sun. It is controlled nuclear fusion, and the energy released every second is extremely huge. Even if he can transform into the sun, how can his body withstand such a huge amount of energy? Dr. Otto muttered in shock, his eyes full of disbelief. In Agent Hill's mind, the evaluation of Soren's threat level has risen rapidly. Even Captain Marvel is not that powerful. The light on Soren's body became brighter and brighter, and the energy circulation around his body became even greater. This was actually his first solar transformation, and he felt an unprecedented power. Solar breathing method is to refine the energy of the sun and then use it to strengthen the cells of the whole body. But now, the cells all over the body have become in a special state. Each cell is a tiny nuclear fusion reactor, constantly producing energy belonging to the sun. This is completely different from the past. In the past, it only absorbed solar energy from the outside. Now, your own body can produce solar energy. At this moment, the solar breathing method has a new effect. 
It is completely converting the energy of the artificial sun absorbed by Sauron into the energy possessed by Sauron himself. This is far faster than the usual cultivation speed, countless times. It's faster than drawing energy from a blue giant star. Snapped. The artificial sun in Sauron's hand shrank to the size of a glass ball, and then suddenly flashed into a puff of blue smoke. All the energy in it was absorbed by Sauron. Sauron stepped out of the super magnetic field, but the energy emitted by his body did not cause any damage to the surroundings. The sun breathing technique allowed him to control his own energy to an extremely abnormal level. Sauron cancelled the sun transformation, and he instantly returned to his original state. But in his cells, each cell nucleus became like an artificial sun. The huge amount of solar energy extracted from the artificial sun is dispersed and stored in these cell nuclei. Afterwards, under the practice of solar breathing method, it will gradually be absorbed by the cells as a whole and used for their own strengthening. The cloth on Sorin's body completely vaporized when he transformed. When he resumed his transformation, Gwen immediately covered her eyes. But her bright eyes could be seen between those big fingers. Sauron didn't care and put on the clothes handed over by Hill Agent. Dr. Otto, when the artificial sun is successful, the problem of the ultra-strong magnetic field generated still needs to be solved. I will let Osborne Company provide you with any support you need. Sauron thought for a while and handed his portable fixed star weapon to Dr. Otto. I think it can help you get huge amounts of help on the road to artificial sun. Dr. Otto's face was filled with doubts as to what help this near obelisk crystal could bring to him. But Sauron pressed on it, and what was originally a small square pointed crystal suddenly grew larger. An exaggerated weapon appeared in Sauron's hand. Dr. Otto's eyes were instantly attracted. Hill Agent and Gwen also widened their eyes. With this energy signature, this is a blue giant star. Gwen couldn't help but scream. The mass of a blue giant star is generally 4 to 40 times that of the sun. The volume is hundreds of times, thousands of times, even complete. The giant stage is the old age stage of the 11 fixed stars. After the giant star, there is the death stage, which collapses into a white dwarf, a neutron star, or a black hole. The lifespan of a blue giant star is very short, but it is also measured in tens of millions of years. But no matter what, the technology displayed in being able to compress a blue superstar to the size of a football file is extremely advanced. Sauron took out the blue giant weapon, one of which was to help Otto perfect the controllable nuclear fusion technology. 1. I want to go fishing. The birth of Superman requires a gorgeous stage. What a gorgeous show. Harvest millions of gold coins from the multi-dimensional Spider-Man alliance at once. He fell in love with this sudden wealth. Hill Agent, will definitely report the Blue Star weapon to S.H.I.E.L.D. If S.H.I.E.L.D. knows, that means the whole world knows. This bullshit global agent organization has been infiltrated into a hornet's nest. To take this thing away from Sauron, ordinary troops are not good enough and can only rely on super ability people. By then, Sauron will be able to become rich overnight. On this, Sauron left a spiritual mark. Any high-tech isolation means are useless. Otto's eyes were almost attached to the energy shield. What I hold in the palm of my hand is just an artificial sun. But you have a real blue giant star. What a wonderful fixed star technology this is. I dare say that humans will not be able to master such technology in another hundred years. Dr. Otto's words hit Agent Hill's heart immediately. She knew that aliens really existed. Indeed, this comes from a powerful alien civilization. Sauron nodded, confirming Otto's words. This is a powerful weapon. Just 1% of the launch power is enough to tear a large canyon on the earth. 100% launch is enough to destroy a planet. Dr. Otto's hands were trembling, for fear of destroying the entire blue star accidentally. Hill's eyes sparkled even more. No, this weapon is too powerful and must not fall into the wrong hands. As the owner of the blue star weapon, he has the highest authority over this weapon. Without his authorization, this weapon would not have been launched. Even if someone stole it, it would be impossible to test it. There's too much movement. One shot may wipe out the entire land area of your country. After Agent Hill got off work, he went directly to SHIELD's headquarters. Directly meet with the chief and deputy directors. Agent Hill, you said you had something important to report, what was it? 
Deputy Director Nick asked. Hill agent said with a serious face. Director Pierce, Deputy Director Nick, after today's artificial sun experiment is successful, Sauron will undergo a solar transformation. I suspect that he killed the Japanese mutant Sunfire just to obtain this ability. After he transformed, he absorbed the artificial sun. I think this is his purpose, to transform through the sun, absorb the artificial sun, and use it to enhance his ability. Pierce and Nick didn't care much after hearing this. Hill agent, you are too sensitive. The content of tritium in nature is extremely low. The tritium that can be used now is obtained by hitting lithium with neutrons in nuclear physics laboratories. As long as we strictly control the production of tritium elements, we can limit his growth. Agent Hill shook her head. She said something that made both Pierce and Nick feel crazy. Both directors, Soren's solar transformation and absorbing the artificial sun is just an experiment. He has a real fixed star in his hands. A fixed star weapon from a powerful alien civilization. A blue giant star is compressed in a space as large as a football to provide energy for the weapon. According to Sauron, with only 1% of the launch power, it can be launched on the ground it creates a grand canyon. Its power is even inferior to that of Big Ivan the Bear. This is only 1% of the power. At 100% power, it is a star-killing weapon. Pierce and Nick knew Hill very well and knew that what she said must be true. The pupils of both of them were dilated and full of greed. After the Hill agent reported, he returned to New York. She wants to monitor Blue Star's weapons to avoid any accidents and being snatched away. Dr. Otto locked himself in the laboratory and concentrated on studying the blue giant weapon. He is not interested in the weapon's part, but wants to study and understand what kind of technology can perfectly compress a blue giant into a football file size. If he could figure out just one thing, his artificial sun would be perfect. He did not invite Osborne or Connors. They studied the biological side, which was completely different from him. On the high beam of the laboratory, Gwen Spider, wearing a white spider battlesuit, was sitting on the beam. Her eyes were keenly observing the movements around her. Master, this guy is so careless. Such an important thing was so easily given to Dr. Otto for research. I have to watch out for Master. If anyone dares to snatch it, I will let them taste the power of my spider woman. Being trained by Sauron every day, Gwen believed that her fighting ability was quite powerful especially her battle suit, which seems to be a thin layer, but it was made by Osborne Company at a cost of hundreds of millions of USD. Just buying the vibranium and adamantium meteorites on the market has cost tens of millions of USD. The battle suit made of these two super materials integrates all of Osborne's black technologies. Except for the different materials, it's actually not much different from the battle suit Tony made for the Dutch Spider. For this only female apprentice, Sauron still spared no expense. Why? It's just that the elasticity of this battle suit is not very good, and the shape needs to be maintained. Gwen Spider also has a small constitution with a little bit of thoughts. HYDRA's actions are far faster than shield. Pierce immediately activates the frozen Hydra Super Soldier, Winter Soldier. The heavily armed Winter Soldier quickly broke through the laboratory's defenses and invaded the laboratory. Gwen Spider discovered Winter Soldier's movement, and his whole body became energetic. The big bad guy is here. The Gwen Spider was lying on all fours on the beam, watching the Winter Soldier as he quietly entered the laboratory. Dr. Otto, who was studying, had a smile on his lips. His mechanical tentacles not only have artificial intelligence, but are also equipped with various detection sensors and even cameras. He is researching it himself, but the four mechanical tentacles, four artificial intelligences equipped with various sensors, are helping him monitor the surroundings. He had discovered the Gwen Spider a long time ago, and it was no secret that the Gwen Spider was in Osborne Company. Of course he just pretended not to notice. Every time Winter Soldier wakes up from the ice, he will undergo a fixed brainwashing procedure. He didn't feel sad or happy, and he wasn't surprised to see Dr. Octopus. Just when he sneaked closer and wanted to subdue Dr. Otto at close range. Gwen Spider takes action. In web shooters, a cobweb was shot out and stuck directly to Winter Soldier's robotic arm. Winter Soldier was stunned and suddenly pulled the cobweb, but he did not pull Gwen away. Although the Gwen Spider cannot produce cobweb, 
its body strengthening degree is stronger than that of the Toby spider and the MJ spider. Especially the agility attribute is beyond a level. Winter Soldier's robotic arm only has 15 tons of power. But the Gwen spider has tens of tons of power. Huh, such a big power. Gwen was a little surprised. She didn't expect that the person coming was a strengthener. Gwen exerted a sudden force, and Winter Soldier was pulled towards her direction. Dr. Otto restored the Blue Star weapon into an obelisk crystal and stuffed it into his jacket pocket. He turned around and watched quietly. Winter Soldier drew out a sharp tactical knife and cut off the cobweb with one blow. Under the strong inertia, the Gwen Spider did a backflip and landed perfectly. The black glasses lens is actually a transparent display, which displays various results of the battle suit scanning Winter Soldier. You actually have a robotic arm. The Gwen Spider was a little surprised, how painful it was. Winter Soldier rushed directly towards the Gwen Spider. In terms of strength, agility, reflexes, etc., Gwen Spider crushes Winter Soldier several times. Even with combat experience, with Soren's training, he will not lag behind the Winter Soldier. The only thing that Winter Soldier can crush against the Gwen Spider is his expressionless killing heart. In close combat, the older Gwen gets, the more constrained she feels. She showed mercy at every turn, but the other party defended her at all times. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The Gwen Spider jumped, distanced itself, and shot cobweb balls at Winter Soldier, sticking his arms and body together. Finally, an electric shock cobweb, powerful high voltage electricity, instantly poured into Winter Soldier's body. Winter Soldier trembled. His robotic arm has anti electric shock technology. He pretended that he couldn't bear the electric shock and fell to the ground. Seeing this, Gwen Spider clapped her hands happily. Finish the fight. Dr. Otto saw the disguise of Winter Soldier through the mechanical tentacles. Seeing that Gwen Spider had relaxed its vigilance, he quickly reminded. Careful, he's not fainted. But, it's too late. Spider telepathy activated, Gwen looked down and saw a concussive bomb rolling out of Winter Soldier's hand. She jumped back quickly, but with a bang, the concussion bomb exploded with bright light and strong sound waves. The five senses of the Gwen Spider were strengthened, but they suffered the most severe blow. Dr. Otto was so stunned that he closed his eyes tightly and his head was buzzing. But the mechanical tentacles were not affected at all. Winter Soldier suddenly jumped up and rushed towards Dr. Otto. Artificial intelligence mechanical tentacles are very powerful in combat. In the original work, Spider-Man was beaten down. How did Winter Soldier rush over, only to be whipped away by the mechanical tentacles at double the speed? The artificial intelligence mechanical tentacle automatically started the protection program. Winter Soldier's eyes flashed with surprise. He didn't expect that a mere mechanical tentacle could be so powerful. He grabbed the special gun on his back and stuffed a miniature electromagnetic pulse bullet into it. One shot was fired at Dr. Otto. A strong electromagnetic pulse instantly filled the entire laboratory. All the electronic equipment in the laboratory emitted bursts of sparks and completely malfunctioned. The four mechanical tentacles also drooped to the ground dejectedly. Winter Soldier's robotic arm was protected against electrical discharges and electromagnetic pulses. He walked towards Dr. Otto with calm eyes. The Gwen Spider had stood up shaking its head, its eyes were still blurred, and there was a buzzing sound in its ears. She shook her head vigorously and saw that Winter Soldier had walked up to Dr. Otto. She quickly raised her arm and fired the cobweb. Winter Soldier dodged the cobweb with a backflip, and reached out to grab Dr. Otto's jacket pocket. However, Winter Soldier's hand could not move forward at all, and the mechanical tentacles grasped it tightly. The electromagnetic force released by the artificial sun is so terrifying that even the mechanical tentacles are fine. A tiny electromagnetic pulse bomb is nothing to worry about. Just as Winter Soldier was about to struggle, the other three limbs were also grabbed by the mechanical tentacles. The 15 tons of power of the mechanical arm is perfectly controlled by the mechanical tentacles. The Gwen Spider looked at Dr. Otto and easily took down the Winter Soldier. He was surprised but also relieved. Agent Hill, standing on the opposite floor, used a telescope to see what happened in the laboratory. Her brows instantly frowned. I only told Director Pierce and Deputy Director Nick about the Blue Star weapon. 
Why would someone come to snatch it so quickly? The most mysterious top killer, Winter Soldier. There is a mole in S.H.I.E.L.D. It's still one of the two of them. Hill Agent has begun to doubt Director Pierce and Deputy Director Nick. The information could not have been leaked from Sauron. Dr. Otto has been studying that Sauron is the owner of the Blue Star Weapon, and Gwen has come to protect the Blue Star Weapon. Hill Agent is deeply suspicious of the entire S.H.I.E.L.D. If the director or the deputy director, or even both of them, are not good people, then who else in S.H.I.E.L.D. can be trusted? Hill began to regret and reported the incident. No, I must investigate clearly who is the mole. Hill agent's eyes became more determined. She picked up her phone and dialed a number she hadn't contacted for a long time. Director Carter, I need your support. The person contacted by Hill agent was none other than Peggy Carter, one of the founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. At the moment, Carter is in her secret residence after retirement. She has aged and is nestling in the arms of Captain America, who is also aging. Hill, do you need any trouble? Carter asked. Old director, I can't say the specific content, but I have reason to suspect that one of the current director Pierce and deputy director Nick Fury is Hydra. The old Captain America was a little surprised when he heard the voice on the phone. If nothing else happens, it will be at least 10 years before Nick Fury discovers something is wrong internally. However, Captain America strictly abides by time laws and never tells Carter anything about the future. Carter is also afraid that because he asks about the future and interferes, the future Captain America will not go back to the past to accompany him. This is a tacit understanding between the two. Carter's eyes sharpened. She controlled her gaze and looked at Captain America fearing that she would see something on his face and affect future changes. Hill, I will ask my niece, Sharon Carter, to go to America to cooperate with your actions. She can help you contact some of my old friends. They are all trustworthy. Hill breathed a sigh of relief and said, Thank you, old director. Sauron, who has been paying attention to this place with his super ability, only then understood why Hill agent became the deputy director of S.H.I.E.L.D. It turns out that standing behind her is the founder of S.H.I.E.L.D., Peggy Carter. Soren heard another person's breathing from Hill's phone. It was the breath of a man, obviously old but showing great physical strength. Captain America returns from the future. That's interesting. Sauron smiled. He had no intention of talking to Captain America. After hanging up the phone, Carter logged into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s intranet with his own authority. He began to check the recent major information of S.H.I.E.L.D. Captain America next to her suddenly widened his eyes. Shet. He couldn't even help but speak out. Carter realized something was wrong. After experiencing so many things, Captain America had never been surprised by something. Even 12 years ago, when Howard and his wife died in a car accident, he only acted sad. What's wrong? Carter couldn't help but ask. Captain America's eyes were fixed on Soren's intelligence information, and he couldn't help but said. Peggy, he didn't exist in the time I lived through. Either he is someone who suddenly appeared in the timeline, or I went back to the past and went to a different timeline. So the question is, if Captain America goes back in time, he actually comes to another timeline or another parallel universe. Is the lover in front of me, who I have spent half of my life with, still my Peggy? For a moment, this question came to mind in both Peggy and Captain America. But the next second, the two hugged each other tightly. There is no point in dwelling on this issue. The best times of their lives were spent together. Master, a bad guy came to steal something, and Dr. Otto and I caught him. Gwen Spider called Sauron excitedly. His words were full of arrogance. Really, Gwen is so awesome. Sauron is obviously one year younger than Gwen, but he still coaxes her. It just so happens that they both like this kind of master-disciple relationship. The next moment, Sauron teleported into the laboratory and saw the Winter Soldier whose limbs were fixed by Dr. Octopus. Winter Soldier can be said to be a typical representative of whitewashing and weak points. When he was the Hydra Winter Soldier, the bald brazed egg, Captain America, and the Black Widow all almost died at his hands. But once he becomes Bucky again, he will simply be reduced to the role of a soldier kill him. Sauron really doesn't like the little things that fell. Go back. There is no way Sauron would let the bald brazed egg become shield director, that would make no sense. Snapped. 
Sauron snapped his fingers, and the brainwashing device in Winter Soldier's mind was completely decomposed. Then, the power of the mind invaded the depths of Winter Soldier's consciousness, completely resurrecting the hidden memories. How can it be possible to completely clear the memory if the memory is clear? Human memory is deeply imprinted on countless cells in the brain. Just like a computer hard drive, it seems to have been deleted, but in fact the deleted data can still be recovered. Ah, Winter Soldier let out a cry of pain, which was the recovery of huge memories, impacting his consciousness. Sauron looked at Otto, and Otto let go of the mechanical tentacles. Winter Soldier fell directly to the ground, his whole body curled up in pain. After more than 10 minutes, the pain in Winter Soldier's mind dissipated, and he recalled all the erased memories. I am Bucky, my brother is Steve, I was transformed into a super killer by Hydra, and I am here to carry out the robbery mission. Winter Soldier stood up while muttering to himself. He looked at Sauron and thanked him with his eyes, thank you. If it weren't for you, I would have continued to be enslaved and forced to become a cold-blooded killer. Winter Soldier's strength is not outstanding and not enough to become a member of the Super 7. But his fighting skills are at full level, enough to become the fighting coach of the Super 7, and he can barely join the reserve team of the Super 7. Winter Soldier is a bit like Black, and he can do some dirty work very well. You are a person who is out of touch with the times. As a Winter Soldier, you have assassinated many people over the years. Once you leave here, you will face a double pursuit by Hydra and HYDRA's enemies. I'm forming a superhero team. I lack a good fighting master. Join me and you can live a stable life. Sauron recruited directly. Winter Soldier knows himself, and he remembers all the assassination memories clearly over the years. Those people he assassinated, any force behind them would make their scalp numb. After all, for ordinary characters, Hydra would never use him. Can you really provide me with protection? Winter Soldier asked excitedly. Sauron did not explain, but directly transmitted the scene of his battle with Sunfire into the consciousness of Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier's eyes widened instantly, and he immediately made a wise choice. Boss, I will be yours from now on. Sauron smiled and said. Your old friend is not dead either. I'll give you the coordinates. Go dig him out. Winter Soldier suddenly became extremely excited. He has been in a dormant state for a long time, and the total memory of his activities only lasts a few years. In his mind, he and Captain America had only been separated for a few years. Boss, is he really still alive? Where is he now? Sauron understood their emotions and felt that they were brothers in life and death, which was too deep. Man is in the North Pole, he is in a frozen state, and the super serum puts his body into sleep. From now on, your superhero name will be the Winter Soldier. Once Captain America is dug out, you two will form a superhero team. Winter Soldier, no, the Winter Soldier nodded seriously, he just wanted to find his good brother now. Hill Agent looked through the telescope and saw that Winter Soldier was so respectful to Sauron, and his whole body felt numb. She wanted to report to the director several times, but she held back. No, I have to talk to Sauron. What's going on between him and Winter Soldier? Winter Soldier must know who sent him. Hill gritted his teeth, turned around and went downstairs. Go ask now. Dr. Otto continues to study the Blue Star weapon, and Gwen, who is also a college bully, also joins the research. Although Winter Soldier has restored all his memories, Hydra's long-term training and brainwashing are still very effective. He stood quietly behind Sauron and stared at the Hill agent sharply. Hill was straightforward and didn't hide anything. Soren, I'm sorry, it was me who reported the Blue Star weapon to Director Pierce and Deputy Director Nick. But I didn't expect that one of them turned out to be Hydra and sent Winter Soldier to snatch it. I have contacted retired director Carter, and she has sent someone to support me. I will definitely investigate. Hill solemnly apologized. Sauron didn't care, he already knew what kind of people those two guys were. As for the Blue Star weapon, he deliberately released it for fishing. But at present, it seems that neither Hydra nor Shield will work. Just sent a winter soldier, how can he realize his dream of getting rich overnight? How many more organizations like the Diverse Spider-Man Alliance can we have? Etc. Soren's mind suddenly exploded. Although now, 
Many powerful super ability users on Blue Star have not yet appeared, or have obtained super ability. But looking at the universe, there are too many people with super ability and super ability. The almighty city in the universe, filled with gods from various civilizations. If that city is slaughtered, how much ability and ability will be dropped? In the universe, almost no civilization has its own god to protect it. Rather than letting god killer gear be slaughtered in the future, it is better to take advantage of him. Asgard, Odin's family. Giants of Jotunheim Loth, flame giant. So, why do you have to stick to blue star? But soon, a real problem appeared in front of Sauron. The distance is often measured in light years. The technological level on Blue Star is so low that there is not even a space jumping spacecraft. His flight speed is now only a hundred times the speed of sound, which is still far from the speed of light. Three ways. The first one, Bifrost of Asgard. The storm axe hasn't been built yet, and the control room in Asgard won't listen to him. It is not easy to mobilize the dark energy in the universe, and Bifrost is not available to everyone in Asgard. Even if he could do it to Odin, he would have to go to Asgard first. Pass this. Second, Tesseract. The Tesseract, after Project Pegasus, was swallowed by the Elemental Devourer. Later it spit it out and was secretly kept by Nick Fury. It is easy to get the Tesseract, but the Tesseract is related to the extremely important Avengers Alliance plot later. If he takes the Tesseract now, how can Loki send the Mind Gem to Blue Star? Pass this too. The third one, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel gained super ability due to the energy of the Tesseract. Among her abilities, the one that Sauron covets the most is the super light flight. He is only at the Man of Steel level now, and he has to reach the bronze level to be able to fly faster than light. Superman's super light flight is purely because he is fast enough. Captain Marvel's super light flight relies on his special photon energy. Although Captain Marvel is not on the blue star, we don't know where in the universe she is currently working as a superhero. However, in the hands of the bald man, there is the most buggy BB machine in the Marvel Universe. The signal of a small BB machine can cover several galaxies. The easiest way for the bald brazed egg to call Captain Marvel is for Sauron to directly control his mind or directly take away the BB machine. Soren raised his head and glanced at Hill, with a smile on his lips. It's time for Agent Hill to see what kind of person this bald and brazed deputy director is. Use his green-skinned alien wife to threaten him with calling Captain Marvel. They are all old friends. Hill, I'm going to take you to a good show. You follow me the whole time and don't say anything. Sauron said. Hill nodded in agreement, Soren put his arm around her waist, and the two of them disappeared instantly. The Winter Soldier's eyes widened. Gwen pouted and turned her attention back to the blue giant weapon. Over the Washington DC area, Sauron held Agent Hill's waist and was suspended in the sky. The Dark Knight became the perfect cover. Hill was about to ask, but thought of Sauron's words to keep her silent, so she kept her mouth shut. Soon, Sauron smiled. The bald and brazed deputy director was driving. After several secret changes of vehicles and clothes, he arrived at a mansion in the suburbs. When Sauron took her to the sky above the mansion, Sauron shared what he saw and heard with super hearing and super vision with Hill through the power of the mind. Hill was shocked. Deputy Director Nick actually has a wife. Wrong. His wife is normal, so why did Sauron bring me to see her? Hill agent has no habit of spying on his boss's husband and wife. Moreover, she was also disgusted by the incident involving a black couple. But the next second, Agent Hill's eyes widened. I saw something. Deputy Director Nick Fury's wife is actually a Skrull. He actually married a Skrull. Oh God. The wife of the dignified Deputy Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. is actually an alien shapeshifting refugee hiding among humans. Her outlook on life took a huge hit in an instant. Sauron turned off his ability, and the scene behind him was so eye-catching. The two landed near the house. Agent Hill stretched out his hand to support a tree and vomited. Although there were very few scenes, the impact on her was still too great. Hill Agent has also become a level 6 agent and has the full support of the Shield Carter series. After Nick becomes director, she will take over as deputy director. Although she is a level 6 agent, she has the authority of a Shield level 8 agent. After reading a lot of SHIELD's top secret information, 
I learned about Captain Marvel, the Kree Empire, and the Skrulls. Since Captain Marvel, the S.H.I.E.L.D. director at the time listed the Skrulls as a group of high concern. They can take on the appearance of anyone, and this ability is perfect for being a spy. In fact, the establishment of the Skrull Empire was based on their species' ability, stealing other people's technology everywhere, and then making themselves one of the three major empires in the universe. But this has angered too many cosmic civilizations. In the war between the Kree Empire and the Skrull Empire, countless powerful civilizations chose to stand aside and even support the Kree Empire openly or covertly. The Skrull Empire collapsed, and the Skrulls became refugees in the universe, looking for new planets everywhere and trying to build their own new home. Hiss. But the shapeshifting ability of the Skrulls is so powerful that if they know enough about the person they are shapeshifting, they cannot even identify it. S.H.I.E.L.D. has always had no results. Hill Agent really didn't expect that the wife of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s second-in-command, Nick Fury, is a Skrull. However, Nick was not deceived, but he knew clearly that his wife was a Skrull. And even talk about love. Eye-catching. Vomit. Hill Agent vomited all the contents in his stomach, and his face turned a little pale. Are you done vomiting? Come with me when you're done vomiting. Sauron will not wait until the people inside are done. Hill wiped his mouth and followed Soren. As soon as the visitor entered the courtyard of the mansion, a red light in the bedroom came on. Nick, who was working hard, pulled out a gun from under his pillow in an instant. Quickly disguise yourself. Nick gave an order, then wrapped himself in pajamas and looked at the surveillance monitor in the room. Seeing that the people coming were Solon and Hill, he frowned. Snapped. The lock on the door couldn't stop Sauron at all, and the two of them walked into the mansion. Solon sat on the sofa calmly, and Hill went to rinse his mouth. Then he also sat next to Sauron. When Nick saw this scene, he knew that the gun was useless against Sauron, so he threw it down. After changing his clothes and holding the BB camera in his hand, he went downstairs. I never expected that the majestic Superman would come to my home. I'm really honored. Nick pretended to be calm. Sauron smiled and said, Deputy Chief Nick Fury, we're all busy, I'll just keep it simple. I have only one purpose here, which is to ask you to help me call Carol back. I'll leave when this is done, and you can continue with your work. Nick's brows furrowed. Although Captain Marvel was in S.H.I.E.L.D., it was no secret to a few people with extremely high authority. However, the BB camera that Carol left for him was only known to him. He never told anyone about this. Sauron has super hearing, but he didn't even say it, so how could he know? Superman, are you kidding me? Captain Marvel is hundreds of light years away from the solar system right now. Even if I know her coordinates, I can still use the radio telescope. It will be hundreds of years before she receives my signal. Nick just pretended to be confused. The smile on Soren's face was still there, but his tone was very calm. Nick Fury, do you think I don't know what the BB camera in your hand is used for? He snapped his fingers and Nick heard footsteps. His wife actually walked downstairs. The key was that she restored her original appearance as a scrawl. But his eyes were dull, and his consciousness was obviously controlled by someone. You said you have to let me force you. Nick, you don't want your wife's secret to be known to the whole world, right? A green-skinned alien is hiding among humans. If you say she walks out like this, can you still protect her? If your relationship is made public, can you still hold your position as deputy director? Nick Fury stared at Sauron. If he had the super ability to kill with his eyes, he would definitely kill Sauron 10,000 times. Superman, she is innocent, why did you involve him? You keep saying you are Superman, is this what Superman does? Nick couldn't help but ask. Sauron smiled. Nick, your butt is not straight. I don't care about the things between you blacks and whites. After all, we are all native life on Earth. The Skrulls are aliens. They don't stay well on their own planet. Why did they come to our blue star? You have strong tastes and treat these green-skinned aliens as human beings, but don't ask others to treat them as human beings. Besides, who said Superman has to be a virgin? If you don't summon Captain Marvel in three seconds, then I can only kindly help you and give your wife to the president. Sauron stood up. Hill Agent followed Sauron without saying a word, while Nick's green-skinned wife followed Sauron with dull eyes. 
Nick held the BB camera tightly in his hand and stared at Sauron. Just when Sauron was about to take the third step, Nick suddenly shouted. Superman, you win. He raised the BB machine and pressed the button. A distress signal, through quantum entanglement, spanned a distance of dozens of light years in an instant. On a certain alien civilization planet, Captain Marvel was on vacation, and her BB camera, which had not made any sound in ten years, suddenly rang. Carol's whole body jumped up instantly, and her eyes looked in the direction of the solar system. No, Blue Star is in danger. Carol's body was wrapped in strong photon energy, and she flew away from the planet. After arriving in space, she locked the position of the solar system and directly entered the super light flight. Sauron smiled faintly and withdrew his spiritual power, and Nick's wife suddenly woke up. She immediately realized what was wrong. Fury. She rushed to Nick and looked at him worriedly and moved. Nick gasped and said, Superman, your goal has been achieved, I hope you keep your promise. Soren laughed and said, Nick, what good things do you want? I will eat this secret until you die. By the way, I want you to take over as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. as soon as possible. After Hill becomes the deputy director, you resign and let her take over as director. After Soren finished speaking, he took Hill and left. Nick and his wife were the only ones left in the huge mansion. Fury, I have become your weakness now, I have to leave. Nick hugged his wife tightly and comforted. Don't worry, when Carol comes back, she will deal with this so-called Superman. In Nick's opinion, Carol is his trump card. It is his super trump card against all those with extraordinary abilities. Captain Marvel is powerful enough to crush this so-called Superman. Back in New York, Agent Hill called Director Carter and reported everything. Old Director Carter's eyes were twinkling. The three founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. Howard died in a car accident along with his wife. His son Tony has nothing to do with S.H.I.E.L.D. As an old director, her proposed successor was rejected, and instead Alexander Pierce took over as director. People of her lineage have been driven out of the core of power of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, she sees hope in her new lineage of controlling S.H.I.E.L.D. Hill became the director and passed the directorship to her niece Sharon Carter in the future. Hill, Sharon has arrived in New York. I will fully support you and make you the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. After hanging up the phone, Captain America frowned slightly. He sees Captain Marvel's power. In the battle against Thanos, so many superheroes were beaten, but Captain Marvel was able to fight Thanos alone. He couldn't help but worry about Superman. At the same time, he was shocked by Fury's taste. He always thought that Fury was a bachelor. As an old school person, Captain America's heart began to lean toward Sauron. He couldn't help it and said to Carter. Carol is the strongest person I have ever met. Carter couldn't help but look at Captain America. She nodded carefully and said nothing. A few days later, at the edge of the solar system, Carol looked at the familiar fixed star in front of her and accelerated towards the blue star. In the heavily guarded S.H.I.E.L.D. three-wing building, Nick is in his deputy director's office. Suddenly, he felt a gust of wind, looked up suddenly, and saw Carol Danvers in a battle suit. Fury, what happened to Blue Star? Carol's tone was filled with confusion. She returned to Blue Star and took a closer look, but found no trace of alien invasion. On the ground, people's lives are orderly and the news is quiet. She didn't understand why Fury asked him for help. Seeing Carol, Fury felt instantly filled with security. Carol, there is a mutant named Superman who threatens me to send you a signal. You have to be careful, he has all the super abilities of Superman in the comics. Carol's return was not hidden from Sauron. He was waiting for Carol on the rooftop of Osborne Company. Soon, a stream of light flew from a distance and headed straight towards Sauron. Captain Marvel, who was surrounded by strong photon energy, was locked by the military's defense system as soon as he left the tri-wing building. The energy signal she releases is hundreds of times stronger than the tail flame signal of the Saturn V large launch vehicle that launched the Apollo 11 moon landing spacecraft. The entire Wujiao building was instantly tense. This is Washington, and the three curved wings building is less than five kilometers away from the White Palace. Director Pierce's phone number is about to explode. He knew the news and was stunned. I quickly investigated and found out that he flew out of the deputy director's office. Without waiting for him to shout, Fury took the initiative to report. Hearing that it was Captain Marvel, 
Pierce looked at Fury with a deep look. Good guy, he's hidden deep enough. I picked you up with my own hands, but I didn't even know you had Captain Marvel's communication device. Pierce hurriedly reported to the Wujiao building, saying that it was to trouble Superman, so the military did not launch defensive missiles. Carol's body was suspended in front of Soren, and her eyes looked at Soren curiously. She rarely encountered oriental faces, but the Superman in front of her was too young and too handsome. Are you Superman? Carol asked. Sauron shrugged. The next second, Carol took action directly. She rushed over suddenly, put her head on Soren's belly, hugged his waist with both hands, and flew away into the distance. She doesn't want her battle with Superman to bring disaster to New York City. Sauron allowed Carol to take him directly to the Arctic ice sheet. The military satellite in the Wujiao building has long been locked on Captain Marvel. Many generals, scientists, and analysts are watching the live broadcast of the battle between the two. The two of them hit the ice sheet hard, and the energy released by Carol melted a large amount of snow. They even penetrated dozens of meters of ice, and both of them entered the cold sea water. Under this ice sheet, there are many nuclear submarines of America and Mao Shang. The two men broke through the strong noise generated by the sea water, which was quickly detected by the sonar of many submarines. The submarines of the American military received orders from Cape Wood to keep a close eye on the situation. As soon as Mao Shang reported it, it attracted Mao Shang's attention. Now that he's in a deserted place, Sauron can let go and have a fight with Captain Marvel. With Man of Steel level strength, he didn't even know who to fight with to test his ability. And Captain Marvel can achieve his wish. Sauron bent his knee and kicked Carol in the abdomen. She only felt a terrifying force. The whole person was pointing straight upward, breaking through the sea water, breaking through the ice, and flying high into the sky. Sauron follows closely. A punch hit Carol's body. Carol, who was thousands of meters above the ground, flew towards the west. Her body broke through dozens of times the speed of sound. Her body rubbed fiercely with the air, and her whole body was burning with fire. A dazzling light flashed across the sky over the North Pole. Then it hit the Arctic ice sheet near Novi. Carol's battle suit was not damaged, but the amazing heat from her body melted a large amount of ice and snow. She climbed up from the steaming puddle and shook her dizzy head. Anger burst out in his eyes. Looking at Sauron floating in front of her, she was full of fire. Huge photon energy was released from her body, and her whole body exuded a dazzling light. In an instant, she entered the super light speed state. Her super strength makes her fists extremely powerful, and with the addition of super light speed, they are even more invincible. Soren's current super reflexes and super speed have not yet reached the super light level. Before he could react, Carol punched him in the abdomen. Sauron flew out instantly. His body flies in the air, and the heat generated by friction at hundreds of times the speed of sound makes him emit light far brighter than the sun. Then, at an extremely astonishing speed, it crossed the Mao Shang family, the Dongfang family, and more than half of the ocean, and finally crashed into the sea water near the equator. His smash was no less than the impact of a huge meteorite. Huge amounts of dents were made in the sea surface. The terrifying impact force turned into the kinetic energy of the sea water, and a tsunami hundreds of meters high formed. Carol, who was following closely, frowned when she saw this scene. She fired countless photon energy cannons from her hands to dissipate the huge wave of 100 meters high. In such a scene, the movement is really too big. It is difficult not to be detected by satellites of various countries. Then, the military satellites of many countries locked onto the figures of Sauron and Carol. Sauron looked up and saw that the satellites were too conspicuous in his eyes. We can't let go here, let's go to Mars and have a fight. Soren's eyes were full of fighting spirit. As a veteran mutant, Sunfire has detailed information in the intelligence systems of countries around the world. Although the Japanese volcano erupted and the super earthquake attracted worldwide attention, the Japanese locust even sued Sauron to the United Nations General Assembly. But in the eyes of many intelligence agencies, the main reason for all this happening was the self-destruction of the Sunfire. Although Sauron can force the Sunfire to explode, it may just be a conflict of abilities. They did not believe that a mutant would suddenly appear and be powerful enough to easily kill the old mutant Sunfire. 
But Sauron still came into the eyes of many intelligence agencies. This time, the battle between Sauron and Captain Marvel has completely attracted global attention. The brilliant meteor that spans half of the blue star shines brighter than the sun in broad daylight. The high energy signals released by the two men set off alarms for the defense systems of various countries, and they never stopped. Japan, Shink Si, this powerful woman must be a super soldier sent by the United Nations Conference. She will definitely capture this Sauron and hand it over to us. The Japanese locust was very excited when looking at the pictures captured by the military satellite. Your Majesty Tianlu, we have selected 500 healthy mutant beauties. When he is sent, he will surely give birth to thousands of mutant children. As long as one of them can inherit his super ability, our Japanese empire will surely rise. Japan's Minister of Internal Affairs, Toyonari Hideyoshi said enthusiastically. Hail, hail, the other ministers shouted enthusiastically. Universe country. Zaiba, this powerful mutant, at first glance, he is a member of our great cosmic nation. We want to protest to the United Nations Conference. Protest that they sent people to arrest our strongest hero. Your Excellency, please make stern representations to the United Nations General Assembly and President America. To the east, the Divine Spear Bureau. Soren Lee is of Eastern descent. He grew up in an orphanage in America. His parents are currently unknown. According to the information we have, he often asked his classmate at Mutant College, who is also of Eastern descent, to go back to China to get local delicacies or borrow a cook. The director of the Divine Spear Bureau said, when the flash comes again next time, let's get in touch and express our goodwill. Tell him that we welcome him back to the embrace of the motherland. In the outer space of Blue Star, Sauron and Carol are standing here. Let's compare, who will reach Mars first? Sauron raised his eyebrows. In this vacuum environment, the two of them could hear each other's voices. Captain Marvel has helped the weak everywhere in the universe over the years. She has seen powerful gods and dealt with some ancient strong men. Most of the time, she has the upper hand in battles with these people. She is also eager to have a hearty battle. Just rely on the power of the original, not any ancient treasures or high-tech equipment. Okay. The two looked at each other and then instantly disappeared from the sight of all Blue Star's monitoring equipment. Five points building. Shet, where is the person? The president asked, slamming the table. Pierce said. Mr. President, Captain Marvel Carol has the ability to fly faster than the speed of light. And Sauron, according to our latest intelligence, has some kind of powerful teleportation ability. He can go anywhere he wants in an instant. The president's eyes widened for a moment, and he asked, if he wants to kill me, can he appear next to me no matter where I hide? Pierce nodded. The president's eyes became sharp. We must find a way to restrain him. We, America, cannot allow uncontrolled existence in the sky. From Blue Star to Mars, is it faster to teleport or faster than the speed of light? When Carol escaped from the super light speed and appeared near Mars, she saw Soren's figure at a glance. Space Jump Ability Carol has traveled around the universe in these years, and her horizons have really expanded greatly. Teleportation, wherever I want to go, I can go. The premise is that I really understand that place and can withstand the huge consumption of spiritual energy. As soon as Sauron finished speaking, the two of them started fighting again. The two of them fell from the sky. You punch me and I kick you. There are no fighting skills at all, just punching to the flesh. The clash of steel body and super defense. The nerve reactions of the two of them were as fast as the speed of light. The more they fight, the more excited they become. Boom. The incoming person hit the ground of Mars hard at a speed hundreds of times the speed of sound. The hard crust of Mars could not withstand such an impact. Their bodies easily penetrated the hard rock, constantly heading towards the core of Mars. Soon, their bodies were submerged by the magma in Mars, and finally Soren's back hit an extremely hard but extremely high temperature metal sphere with huge amounts of metal. The planet core of Mars. At the moment, the bodies of Sauron and Carol became still. It's not a life or death enemy, nor is it a crisis of universe destruction. There's no need for the two of them to dismantle the core of Mars. Once something goes wrong with Mars, it will inevitably deeply affect Blue Star. But at this moment, the two people's postures were a little too ambiguous. 
When they were fighting, they couldn't care less, but when they stopped, they all reacted. Carol's legs were locked around Soren's neck, even though she was wearing a high-tech battle suit from the Kree Empire's Star Troopers. It's not a skirt or anything like that, but it's enough to make people think. As for Sauron, his hands were still holding her waist. One raised his head, the other lowered his head, and the exchange of eyes produced brilliant sparks. That's pure appreciation for each other. But when we look at each other, the taste changes. It wasn't just who took the initiative, they were kissing each other anyway. The two came to the surface of Mars, the highest peak in the solar system, the top of Mount Olympus. The atmosphere of Mars here is extremely thin, but for two people who can survive in a vacuum environment, it is not a problem at all. The lonely flat sand is vast and empty, the eternal desolation is far and deep. Under this desolate beauty that ordinary people cannot see, a special battle begins. A strong ball of light poured into Soren's body. This battle lasted for three days and three nights. There is no way, these two are currently the two most physically powerful people on Blue Star. Even if you look at the universe, you can be at the forefront. They all have super endurance. It can support them for a super long lasting battle without feeling tired. After the battle, the two of them could sit down and have a careful chat. Why did you threaten Fury into summoning me back? Carol is not a love-minded girl like MJ, her eyes are very dull. It's nothing, it's just that there are no opponents on Blue Star, so it's a bit boring. Sauron just gave a reason casually. But Carol believed it. She has been in the universe, and she hasn't had such a hearty battle for a long time. Those ancient gods or ancient strong men would not come out to bully a weak race and then have a fight with her. She knows what the loneliness of a master is. Carol stood up and looked down at Sauron who was still lying on the ground. She handed an interstellar communicator to Sauron and said. Little guy, my sister is very satisfied with you. But I still need to protect other weak planets in the universe. When I'm free, sister, I'll contact you. After saying that, Carol flew away from Mars and left the solar system at faster than light speed. Sauron was stunned for a moment and put away the interstellar communicator. He closed his eyes and began to examine his harvest. On his cloak, there was a touch of bright blood among the bright red. People with a body of steel or super defense can only fall in love with people who have similar abilities to themselves. Otherwise, some things that seem extremely fragile are actually defenses that ordinary people cannot break through. Photon energy control, can perfectly control photon energy and use it to achieve photon hand cannon or super light flight. Flight at the speed of light, photons endow energy the ability of flight at the speed of light. Super strength and super defense, possessing extremely strong strength and defense ability. Super endurance, immune to all viruses and adaptable to all environments. There are too many versions of Captain Marvel, summarized based on the performance in the movie. Super strength and super defense are not needed by Sauron, just recycle them. System, integrate photon energy control, super light flight, super endurance. Reclaim super strength and super defense. Ding. Congratulations to the host for winning 200,000 gold coins. Sauron was stunned for a moment, and quickly figured out that super abilities were also divided into levels. A special energy flowed in Soren's body, and he instantly transformed into the sun. But this time, his sun transformation is a little different, getting closer and closer to the real sun. Isn't the infinite light released by the sun a special kind of photon energy? Just after Sauron returned to Blue Star, a spark portal appeared in front of him. At the other end of the portal is a bald female. Without any hesitation, Sauron passed through the spark portal and came to the Ancient One. The incomplete phoenix force gives him powerful spiritual power, which can protect his consciousness and soul. And all other magics are just special energies. He himself has mastered the energy of the sun and is not afraid at all. As long as it's not the kind of super magic or secret magic that directly affects reality, he doesn't worry much. Welcome Sauron, this is Kamar Taj, an ancient academy of necromancers. I'm the one in charge here, the ancient one. Ancient One said with a smile. Sauron looked around, it was a very antique place. Just like what you see in the movies, the things here can be sold as antiques if you take them outside. I know you, Sorcerer Supreme. 
guardian of the non-material plane of blue star. Sauron knew this, and the Ancient One was not surprised. Sauron, I take the liberty to invite you here. I am not looking for you. I am just a middleman. There is a special guest who wants to make a deal with you. The Ancient One's words surprised Sauron. The Ancient One, who can let him be the middleman? The Ancient One opened a spark portal, and on the other side of the door was a huge palace that was exceptionally gorgeous and magnificent. A one-eyed old man stepped through the portal and walked in front of Sauron. The king of Asgard, the king of God in Norse mythology, Odin. He is also the protector of Blue Star in the universe now. When he was alive, Thanos always let Loki lead the Chidori. And he took action personally only after his death. Hello, Sauron of Midgard. Odin doesn't dress like a king, but instead looks like a medieval Nordic old man. Sauron smiled and said, I didn't expect that the person who wants to see me is the legendary king of God Odin. Odin was not surprised to see that Sauron could recognize his identity at a glance. When you reach Odin's level, you naturally know multi-universe. As the Sorcerer Supreme, the Ancient One possesses extremely vast magical knowledge. She can travel in the multi-universe, but usually, it's just magic like the dreamwalk used by Wanda, not her real body. In the multi-universe, Sauron's existence is unique. The Ancient One peeked into the future through the time gem and learned that the only other existence in the universe is Miss America. The Ancient One knows it, and it's not surprising that Odin knows it. Sauron, you are very special, unique in the multi-universe. And this is something that not even an existence like eternity can do. Sauron looked at Odin calmly. He had never thought about whether he existed in other universes. Because it means nothing. For him, there is himself in other universes, and it is not him. Odin said with a deep look. Sauron, I want to make a deal with you. I am already very old, and there are not many years left before my soul returns to Soul Castle. But Thor is not qualified to be a proper king yet. Originally, I wanted to banish him to Midgard, seal his divine power, and let him become an ordinary person and realize how to become a qualified person in the past. But your appearance gives me more choices. The exile from Midgard can help him wake up and know how to become a qualified king. But it doesn't allow him to have enough power to protect the kingdom. The power of our Asgard clan comes from the original divine power we control. Thor relies too much on his hammer. His power seems powerful but is very vain. I want you to be his whetstone, so that he can truly control his own power despite repeated failures. Odin's face was full of seriousness. He, the god king, really worked hard for his son. There is an eldest daughter who is impeccable in every aspect, but because of her ambition, she is sealed in the plane of death. And Thor, the prince, is extremely arrogant and reckless. All you can think about is destroying the giants of Jotunheim and proving yourself. Okay, but what can you give me? Sauron wouldn't mind going to Asgard on a business trip. Godly person. As a trade, I can give you the status of the sun god that no one in Asgard can inherit yet. Sauron was immediately attracted by Odin's words. The gods in the Marvel Universe are very complex. Some gods are symbols of certain concepts, such as the goddess of death, the symbol of the concept of death. Some gods are powerful and special energies. Some gods are the embodiment of certain rules or powers. Some gods are some kind of high-dimensional creatures. Some gods are special beings created by extremely powerful beings. Some gods are races with certain powerful bloodlines. Some gods are beings with a certain high status. Some gods are called gods because their individual power is so powerful that they can affect the reality of the universe. The divine person mentioned by Odin is actually the high person mentioned above. In layman's terms, it's the godhead. The god of Asgard is a god composed of two elements. The Esir Protoss originally had a powerful bloodline, but at the same time, they also possess some godhead. After several generations of blood inheritance, the Esir clan can no longer become gods by relying on their own blood alone. Only those with strong royal blood, such as Odin, whether he has godhead or not, he is the king of God. The same goes for Thor later on. The early Thor, although he was Thor, his original strength could not match that of the gods. But he is a prince and the heir to the throne, so he can possess the status of Thor. The elite nobles of Asgard can only be granted godhood if their strength reaches a certain level and they make sufficient contributions to Asgard. 
For example, Sif, the future queen chosen by Odin for Thor. Her role as goddess of the land and harvest was not something she was born with. The divine personage, no matter who is in the hands, is an extremely precious thing. Today's Asgard is far less powerful than in the past, and Odin has accumulated some divine personalities in his hands. Among them is the person of the sun god. There is not the only divine person with the same power, such as the person of the sun god and the person of the god of love, which can be found in almost every mythological civilization. Divine persons of equal power are also divided into strong and weak ones. It can also be integrated to improve. Soren's mind started spinning rapidly. If he obtains Asgard's sun god status, then he will have another powerful root. Personality integrate, evolve and improve. As far as he knows about the personality of the sun god, there is another place that he must possess. The almighty city, the territory of Zeus. In the hands of Zeus, he must have the personality of the sun god or the sun god. He doesn't need to kill the opponent. If he defeats the opponent, he can still have a chance to drop the sun god status. After acquiring and integrating all the sun god personalities in the universe, Sauron could not even imagine how far his godhead would grow. There is no doubt that gods also have strengths and weaknesses. Perhaps, it is not known that gods can grow to the level of eternity, death, and infinity. Okay, I agree. Sauron happily agreed. Odin also smiled. I will cast a spell on you. As long as you stand in the open space and call Heimdall's name, he will listen to you. He will use the Bifrost to bring you back to Asgard. After Odin finished speaking, he cast this magic on Sauron. Sauron is going on a big mission, and the matters on Blue Star need to be properly explained. He said goodbye and left, and Odin and the Ancient One sat across from each other drinking tea. What did you see from the future? Odin looked at the Ancient One. On the Ancient One's chest, the energy of the time gem was glowing green. I saw chaos. I can no longer see his future clearly. Odin, do you really want to defy fate? Ancient One said with helplessness on his face. Odin's single eye was so deep that he seemed to see the end of the universe. Am I going to let Thor become the most tragic Thor? Gradually grow through constant loss. Odin learned too much about the future from the Ancient One, and he felt sorry for his son. If there is any backlash from fate, let me bear it. I just want Thor to be able to escape his fate. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.